Let us begin our explanation of how Newton changed our understanding of the universe by enumerating his three laws of motion. The first law of motion. Every object in the state of rest or in uniform motion tends to remain in that state of rest or motion unless an external force is applied to it. Objects stay still or move with constant velocity unless forces act on them. The tractor goes nowhere until the boy, out of shot, pull on the road. Another example is on stopping a rolling bed to perform a task and getting it rolling again brings Newton's first law into play. This will recognize as essentially Galileo's concept of inertia, and this is often termed simply the law of inertia. The second law of motion. The relationship between an object's mass its acceleration and the applied force is F is equal to M multiplied by A. Acceleration and force are vectors, as indicated by their symbols being displayed in the time mode font. In this law, the direction of the force vector is the same as the direction of the acceleration vector. When a force pulls on an object, it makes the object accelerate. The bigger the force, the bigger the acceleration. On the other hand, the more massive the object is, the less its acceleration. The law of acceleration. The third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When a force pull on an object, there is an equal and opposite reaction. As to this example, the tractor is pulling back on the road. In this figure, the force exerted by the hammer on the nail is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the force applied by the nail on the hammer. When a rocket moves into space, it pushes gases outside from it. The rocket applies force in the gases in a backward direction. As a reaction, the gases move equal amount of force on the rocket in an opposite direction and the rocket moves in forward direction. The law of interaction. And that completes the three laws of motion. Thank you for watching.